Good morning and happy Diwali. Hindus around the world are celebrating the Festival of Lights. Throughout the show, we will share some of the customs. Jennifer Winnish, a German citizen who converted to the Islamic State, was found guilty in a Munich criminal court on October 25th for supporting the IS and murdering a five-year-old girl who was her slave by chaining her outside in the blazing heat, leaving her to die of thirst. At Wenish's home in Falia, Iraq, the child was being punished for wetting the bed, given no water for food or food in the blistering heat, leading her to become extremely dehydrated and soon after dying from it. The story was able to be told by the girl's mother, Nora, who was also enslaved, but managed to escape to tell the story and fight for justice. According to Amal Clooney, the lawyer for the little girl's mom and a human rights activist, it is a significant milestone for my client, a remarkably brave woman who lost her child in, a br in brutal co conditions. Hope that we, see, that, that we will see a more concerted global effort to bring I ISIS to justice. YouTube giant Mr. Beast announced in, on October 29th that he, alongside other content creators, would be starting a movement known as Team Seas, whose goal is to raise $30 million to remove 30 million pounds of trash from Earth's beaches and oceans by January of 2022. This is Mr. Beast's second charity aimed at fighting to keep the Earth clean and habitable, as previously he teamed up with the Arbor Day Foundation to plant 20 million trees, and he reached his goal with a with an extra $3 million to spare. On Tuesday, a lot of Onondaga voting sites had to deal with very rude voters refusing to wear a mask while casting their votes. Lots of people were asked to put on a mask but chose to argue with employees. Most of the incidents occurred at Irwin First United Methodist Church. Most poll workers were in their mid-60s to 70s, so these people ne need voters to wear masks the most. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> ESM Ski Club is back up and running this year. Anyone interested, stop down to C10 or C12 for a packet of information or join our Google Classroom to get all the info and forms. All levels welcome. Paperwork is due November 10th. Google Classroom code 223WX3N. As Hindus celebrate Diwali around the world, so do students at ESM. Shabani is a sophomore who celebrates. The victory of Rawan and the defeating of the evil spirit. Shabani went on to explain the Festival of Lights. The Festival of Lights and fireworks and it is especially about um, the little powder like colored powders that you decorate in the floor with so you make pretty designs and then you put like little dia dias and it is basically candles but made out of mud so Hin hindus celebrate more than diwali on november 4th for us nepalis um, we do, it's called Lakshmi Puja, and it's basically about us um, thanking the Lord for what we have now and other things like that. And it's just like having a um, Lakshmi, a God, is. It's like her being in our homes and giving us a good life. Today we have some slight rain and snow to our north, but you know that won't really affect us in any way. Um, and um, today and tomorrow we'll have a high of 49 degrees and a low of 31. Saturday will be mostly sunny with a high of 53 and a low of 35 degrees. And I'm Paige with your weather.
Diwali is observed on the 15th day of Kartik month as part of the Hindu lunar calendar. This year, the festival of Diwali falls on Thursday, November 4th, 2021. Families also perform Lakshmi Puja and pray to the goddess of wealth to bless, to bless them with health, wealth, and prosperity. this much coconut there to thank you for giving us all those things we have now and or we bring Indian sweets to the temples and leave it there but this is how it goes if we bring an Indian sweets to the temples we give it to them first and then we get to eat them that's how it goes the NFL, there has been more information than has come out in regards to the Henry Rugg situation. He had gone to Top Golf prior to the accident and reportedly drank 18 shots before leaving. While driving, he reached speeds up to 156 miles per hour, resulting in the crash. The Thursday night football game entails the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New York Jets at 820. In the NBA, the Golden State Warriors beat the Charlotte Hornets 114 to 92. Jordan Poole had 31 points on the night for the Warriors, and Miles Bridges had 32 points and 9 rebounds for the Hornets. In ESM news, the boys' soccer team shut out Avril Park 2-0 in the sub-regionals yesterday. Goals were scored by Nico Padawano and Behuda Melkic. Joel Alvarez had both assists. The Spartans advanced to play Messina this Saturday at Potsdam High School at 5.30. In upcoming news, the boys' volleyball plays at JD against Living Word Academy at 7.00. And I'm Tanner with your sports. So from all of us at Spartan News, have, have a, a happy, happy Diwali. Meri taraf se aap sab ko Diwali ki shubhkamnaye.